Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. My name is Brenda Campbell. I'm an artist and a certified Centangle teacher. Today I'd like to welcome you to my channel and welcome you to today's Mindful Monday video. On Mindful Mondays, I guide you through the eight steps of the Zentangle method of drawing, and we draw a classic black and white Zentangle tile. We don't draw it for the end result, which is the art. We draw it to bring ourselves into this very moment, to give ourselves a moment of calm, and to help us kind of center ourselves. I use it almost as meditation, and I certainly um, always feel better when I'm done, even if I like or don't like what I end up with. So don't be tied to the results, and be open and allow yourself to be surprised as you draw along with me. We begin the eight steps with step one, which is gratitude and appreciation. In this step, I'm going to guide you through a short breathing exercise that will hopefully help you get a little bit centered and brought into this moment. So sit up straight, but be comfortable. And take one large inhale, breath in. And exhale slowly and just let everything fall away. And another inhale, getting tall as you breathe in, and exhale, relaxing your face, relaxing your shoulders. And one final large inhale. And let everything go with an exhale. Now just let your breath fall into its natural rhythm and focus on that breath. Breathing in and out. And when you're relaxed into that natural rhythm, I want you to think of something that you're grateful for. It can be a very small thing or it can be a really big thing. You choose. And when you've decided what to be grateful for in this moment, hold on to that and feel that gratitude. What does that feel like? Bring that feeling with you today as we draw and after. So if you get a little frazzled, or you just need a break as we draw, stop yourself. Take a couple of deep breaths. And then start again. And that is all there is to step one. Now step two, we are going to pick up a pencil. And we're going to put a dot in each of the four corners of our tile. Step three is to connect the dots to create a border. And step four is a string. Now, because it's springtime, or it should be, or it will be soon, <laughs> I'm thinking about being outside and thinking about the flowers that are to come soon. And so I have this organic feel I want to use on our tile today. And so for our string, I'm going to draw a simple arched line that 
comes across the whole tile from the bottom left corner to the center of the top line back down to the right corner the bottom right corner so consider it to be maybe a rainbow or the beginnings of a rainbow and that's what we're going to use for our string today so we're now finished with our pencil and we're going to pick up our pen and we're moving on to step five which is the tangles I'm going to be using a Micron PN pen today. It has a plastic nib, that's what the PN stands for, and it's a little bit wider than the O1, and I sometimes just feel like using that instead. We're going to begin with a tangle called Yinx, Y-N-I-X, and this is a, a tangle that kind of looks like a, a leaf, a set of leaves that grow together or maybe a fancy uh, tropical bloom I'll, I'll think of it in that way today and I'm gonna draw it along this line so I'm gonna draw one string of it that comes up this way then I'll come back to the other bottom corner and come back up and they'll meet in the top so yinks is a simple pattern that looks like a leaf, as I said before. So there is my leaf shape. And then from that same beginning point, I'm gonna create another leaf in the center. I mean, excuse me, on the left. Then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna do another one. I'm trying to get this to stay on the line. And, and I'm gonna grow it. There we go. And I just keep adding leaf shape upon leaf shape. And you'll see mine are not the same size, and that's okay. You also notice me turning the tile just a tad, rotating it so I get a better flow as I go up this pencil string line. Okay, so I'm going to be finished with this first one, at least the first step. Now the next step is to come back and put an aura around this tangle. So I'm going to do mine, I'll start on this side. I'm keeping the line I'm creating the aura from to my left because I'm right-handed, but you may need to do yours differently and that will be up to you. I'm going to go slowly with this aura and I move my tile, I rotate as I go around. And now I'm going to turn it this direction. So I keep that line on the left side. Oops, I have to come back over here. Okay, there we go. And now I'll come down. Okay, so there is my first one. I'm gonna do the same thing on this second part of this string line.
Now as I get close to meeting in the middle, I think I'm going to add one in the center that goes behind this first one. Just to give it a little more interest. Okay, so now I'm going to come back and I'm going to put my aura around this one. I said when I started that I thought this looked like maybe a tropical bloom <clears throat> and I think about the ginger plant. Um, I first encountered it when I lived in Panama as a young officer's wife in the army and I loved it so much I wanted one in my own yard and so I was able to propagate a piece. They're very easy to grow if you live in the tropics, that is. And I grew my own. And by the time we left Panama, it was quite a nice large bush. <laughs> it was one of my favorites. Okay, so this is all there is to drawing the pattern yanks. Now I'm gonna draw a few more of them in the bottom to kind of ground out this little rainbow scene or garden scene. And some of these may be drawn behind at the bottom. I'm gonna vary the size. They're not going to be as tall. That's okay. And I am going to do each one individually and then aura it before I draw another one. So I've told you what I think this pattern looks like, what it reminds me of, and I'm just curious to know if it is meaningful or if anybody sees something different in it. Just, I'm just curious. So anyway, drop uh, something in the comments to let me know. Okay, let's do one Just enjoying the flow from drawing this pattern. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm just, I'm having fun with it. Okay, so I think maybe I'll leave it with three for now. And I want to add some mucha. And the mucha are gonna kind of infurl, furl inward on each other. Uh, we'll see how this works out, but I'm going to go ahead and start right here. I like to draw mine upside down. Okay, 
there's one. Got a nice long stem on it. Interesting. Let's see, the second one's going to come up from behind here. So that one came up around and went behind this first one. Now I'm going to do another one. That one will come up like this. That might be enough. I think this, we need something, a little bit something more down here. So I'm going to do a couple more yanks. Let's see. center one there. And then I'll t come back here and aura it. And then I'm going to do another one over here, and it'll be a small one. I'll just do three on that. Okay, so we only have two tangles here. We've got yinks, lots of yinks, and we've got some mucha, so it's all organic. And I think that's totally fine. Now, one thing I do want to do before we move on to shading is I want to go back to my yinks, and I want to do a little bit of decorating. Now, you don't have to do this. I just think it's going to add a little bit of interest if I do. So I am going to draw a line in the center of each one of these. It's not a whole lot, but it is enough to give it some more interest, which I'm always looking to do. Just take your time. One thing I do notice that is missing from this tile, and that is a little bit of dark, solid black trauma. 
So I'll have to think about what I can do to add some drama. And you'll notice that I can vary the line so it's a little wavy, makes it look a little bit more organic and natural. Okay, so here's what I've decided. I'm going to add a little bit of drama by putting a few um, black orbs or black pearls down here at the base. Okay, well that's a little bit of drama, but it's not a whole lot. But I'm going to be okay with that, I think. So I'm going to put away my pen. We're finished with step five, which is the patterns or the tangles. And now we're going to pick our pencil back up, and we're going to do shading. Now I'm going to go ahead and start by shading around the mucha, or I'm going to shade my mucha, but there's a lot of drawing behind where it comes in front of, like here, we're coming in front of the inks pattern. I'm gonna put some graphite on both sides of my mucha there. And then over here, we've got a lot going on with these crossing over. So I want to be careful I'm not putting too much graphite on, but I want to make sure that I get some contrast in there everywhere that it goes behind. Here we're going behind the yinks again. Now I've got a pencil line here for my string, but I'm just kind of adding a little bit more graphite there at the bottom. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out to start with. And I'm gonna come up here. And I'm keeping the graphite kind of inside the tangle. Okay, so I've got up here where they all meet finished. It's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to come down here where it's meeting the yinks and blend that out first or next. Got a 
uh, so much graphite here that I just went ahead and added it there where it was going. This where this yinks goes behind that one. Do the same thing here, and that kind of cleans up a little bit of my tortillon. Go ahead and bend this up down here. Okay, now the other thing I want to do with my mucha is to, this one ha is so white here, I, I kind of want to make it look like it's a little rounder on the edge. So I'm going to, and I didn't add any, you notice, I'm just using what's left on my tortillon. And I'm just kind of blending, shading it like I would an orb with a dark corner and a light corner and then I just kind of lightly go over the stem of it so that there's a little color there. Okay, down here I want to do the same thing. And you know you can always come back in and pick up and that's what I just did. There was pick up some of the graphite from down here. It was pretty dark. And I don't have to add anymore with my pencil. So. Okay, so we're finished with our mocha. And we are going to come back with our pencil. And we are going to draw a line of graphite or put a line of graphite on the center of our yinks where all of the leaves come together. Now the ones in the middle with the mucha already have graphite, so we're going to be careful when we get to that. Now these should be good. This one should be good. There. Okay, now I'm coming back with my tortillon. I'm going to come and turn it upside down and come from the bottom as I blend this out. And I just kind of blend a little bit up into each leaf from the center. <clears throat> Excuse me. From the center. And I'll come back over to this side <clears throat> and do the same thing. I have to forgive my scratchy throat. My allergies have just been knocking me out <laughs> the last few days. So I apologize. But it is the season. Okay, now we'll come back to these in the center, the smaller ones, and I'm gonna use my extra on my tortillon to put some graphite where they kind of meet up. Okay. Okay, I, I know I can futz with that a long time, but I don't really think I need to or want to. So I believe we are finished with step six, the shading. And step seven is next. That is our chop or initials and signature. So I'm gonna 
put my chop in here. I didn't leave myself any room, but that's okay. I'll just put it right here. I won't make it too big. Okay, so there is my job, my initials. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to sign it. And you can date it if you like. I am going to add the names of our tangles. So we started with Yinks and we added Mooka. And then we added some black orbs. So step seven is sign and, and or sign on the back and initial on the front. Step eight is to just sit back and appreciate what you've done. So take a look at your tile and just be grateful. Be grateful that you took time for yourself today. Be grateful that you have this small but beautiful little piece of artwork. And I hope you had a good time and you're feeling better at least. So that is step eight appreciate once again. And with that, I'm going to thank you all for hanging out with me today. I'd love to see your drawing if you drew along. So if you do post anything on social, go ahead and hashtag um, Brenda Campbell or hashtag Angel Whispers Art. Either one will get my attention. I love to see what you guys do with all of these videos. So until next time, be you and be happy.